What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is my first like vlog style video and we'll see how it goes. I don't know what my plans are for this yet, but we shall see. Just getting to my desk here and I'm currently involved in a short trade on AUDJPY. It looks like absolute dog shit. I uh, don't have much faith in this one anymore. It looked good to start off. It reached like one and a half R in profit, a little more actually, but then it did a full 100% retracement back into drawdown now, so it's likely gonna stop me out. Yeah, I don't have high expectations for this one, so it's only Monday, just starting the week out. Got a couple more pairs on my watch list, Euro JPY long and Euro NZD long. We'll see how those play out. They're still far away from my area of interest right now. I've also got AUD CAD, uh, looking for a long position there as well. So we'll see what happens, but as of now, I'm involved in AUD JPY, and it sucks. I'm going to head off to my gym downstairs. I'll take you guys with me. Milo, you wanna say hi? He's busy hunting birds. So let's go to the gym and uh, get a workout in so I can stop focusing on the charts because nothing good comes of that. Thankfully, my gym is at home. I've set up a nice gym in my garage. A lot of traders don't really realize how important having a gym routine can actually be for your career because the more you spend on the charts, the more you're going to be willing to force trades, bend your rules, just because you want to feel active. You want to feel like you're doing something, like you're actively progressing towards your goals. But the truth is, the hard truth is that in trading, uh, less is more. You truly can't force things. Actually, the less time you spend on the charts, the better. You have better chances of being profitable that way because human intervention does not work with trading. You need to let it go. You need to trust your analysis, trust the skill set that you've built, and let the results happen over time. Gonna finish off my workout with a different form of cardio now. Okay, it's very cold in Canada right now, so that didn't last too long. Good workout though, I gotta go shower. Get dressed and then get back to the trading desk. See what's going on. For any of you who don't like cooking as much as I do, there's a really cool service that I get. It's called Factor. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it's a meal delivery service and it's super healthy. So because I'm not a big fan of cooking, it allows me to stay healthy and eat good lunches and dinners for, for me and my son both. And uh, yeah, they're really good. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but really good, healthy meals. So I'm gonna quickly eat some lunch and then head back up to my office. I've got some content to make for my community. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys up there. Aquafunded is a rapidly growing firm based in Dubai, offering up to 400K in trading capital. They offer multiple different challenge sizes at very competitive prices, and the trading objectives are easily achievable. Aquafunded also offers a 100% refund of your challenge fee once you pass your challenge. This firm has no time limits or minimum trading days and offers a huge 90% profit split once funded. Start your Aquafunded journey today by clicking the link in the description of this video and make sure to use the discount code to receive 20% off. All right, everybody, I'm back in my office now. I have a little bit of work to do, a little bit of content to create. So why don't I show you what that's gonna look like? We've had some, some pretty exciting developments with Currency Pros for our community. We have a proprietary trading view indicator. Um, it's really, really cool. I'm super excited to tell everybody about it. Our members have been loving it. Without going into too much detail, let me just double click on the settings and just show you guys what it's all about. So it's called the Currency Pros Golden Zone Indicator. And there are so many settings. We just added a bunch of new features, such as market bias. So you can choose for the indicator to show you long positions or short positions or both. The sensitivity setting. Uh, we have a strong close feature. So it, sh it shows you um, how to customize your where your break of structure shows up. So there's, there's so many cool features here, guys. It's incredible. So one of the main parts of the strategy is, of course, the Fibonacci um, levels, the way that we frame that um, unique to our strategy. So this, this indicator has been expertly coded by an actual SMC trainer. He knows the strategy in and out, and he's very familiar with this style of trading. So this, this has been expertly coded, and I use it on a daily basis. It's absolutely fantastic. It shows you order blocks, fair value gaps, everything that you need to know, every part of the strategy. Um, so it's, it's been fantastic. So a good example here is on Euro NZD. 
it shows you the swing low. It will show the swing high as soon as that's solidified. So as soon as price starts retracing to the downside, then that arrow indicator will, will appear somewhere up here as well. Um, it needs a little bit more time to do that. But basically it auto plots the Fibonacci retracement. Um, and you can customize, of course, which level that you enter from. So if you pull up the settings, you can you can choose one or two fib levels. And you can customize those levels to whatever you want. You can also make it so it shows the price instead of the instead of the the level. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but it shows the price on the chart, which is really cool. Um, and even if you turn that off, if you hover over the level, it shows you the price on the chart for the stop loss, the take profit, everything. So it's really, really cool. It's basically eliminating chart work for our members and myself included. There's really no need for chart work with this indicator. So it's awesome. These updates, uh, we released a, new, a few new features just today. So I'm actually going to record a short video for my members, like just exclusive for the community so that they can uh, see an instructional breakdown of these new features and exactly how to use them. So I'm going to I'm going to film that right now. All right, guys and girls, the time has come. We have made some major updates to the Currency Pro's Golden Zone indicator. The first two settings here are actually brand new. So we have the market bias and then the sensitivity. So this will basically eliminate the potential for taking counter trend trading opportunities and getting confused by that. Um, so this is just another step forward in eliminating unnecessary chart work. High structure setting means tighter, more reactive market structure. Low means larger, less reactive market structure. So what this means is that if you have it on the low setting, you're going to see more of the extreme swing structure. When the strong close is turned on, the candle close needs to be a certain percentage over the break of structure line to be considered valid. The setting that's been added is show fib price. Let me show you what that means. We had a few requests for this, so it was promptly implemented into the indicator. If I toggle it on, you'll notice that instead of showing 0.75, it actually shows the price on the chart. So instead of setting up the parameter tool on TradingView, you could simply plug and play those numbers into your trading platform. Pretty straightforward options here. Show current fair value gap is the newest setting in this category. Right now it's toggled on to show me the current fair value gaps. So that is showing me the two fair value gaps within the current trading range. Now, if I toggle that off, it's going to show me more imbalances, more fair value gaps to the left. So this was another heavily requested feature. So we added it promptly, of course. Just a little update on AUD JPY, that position I was mentioning earlier. Still looks like shit, but somehow it's keeping me in this trade. Honestly, it would be hilarious if this went to take profit. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> so the thing is, like the first quarter of this year has been so ugly, especially for swing trading. It's been really, you know, testing my patience. I still wouldn't have it any other way because it's the least stressful way to trade in the whole six years that I've been trading. I wouldn't change a thing. But unfortunately, the first few months of this year have definitely been testing me. Um, it seems as though whenever I enter a trade, it just consolidates for a while. Now, that doesn't mean that I was right or wrong. It's just, it is what it is, you know? So if I were to go back in time, I would have taken this trade again. As soon as I entered, you can see there was really nice rejection. It went deep into profit over uh, halfway to my uh, take profit level. And then it unfortunately rallied back up. There's a chance that this break of structure could actually just be a liquidity grab. We'll see what happens. That's a huge high momentum bearish candle right now. Again, it would be hilarious if that drops to the downside and took out that low, <laughs> that would be awesome. But yeah, I don't have much confidence in this trade anymore. But the way that I look at these trades is that the range that I'm trading is that swing high up there down to that swing low right there. That's where my Fibonacci tool is drawn from, right? The trade is still 100% valid until one of those levels has been met. If neither of those levels has been met, then that means I'm still in my trade. That means the original idea I had for the trade is still intact. So really nothing has changed. So there's no reason to stress about it, right? My stop loss is set to the swing high and my take profit is set to the swing low. So the only way this, this trade would be invalidated is if one of my uh, protective levels is taken out, which is either a loss or a win. It's literally as simple as that. And in my opinion, this is the most scalable um, and peaceful way to trade. So again, holding this for now, we'll see what happens. I don't intervene with my trades. So it's either going to hit the stop loss or the take profit. All right, I got a couple errands to run, so I'm actually going to head out. Um, I guess I'll bring you guys along with me, set the camera up in the car. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I'm going to head over to my local music store um, and hopefully not spend a ton of money. That's a dangerous place for me to be. Um, but then I'm going to go to Healthy Planet, which is a it's like a supplement vitamin kind of store.
not much going on on the charts but to be honest as a swing trader not much is ever going on on the charts like it's a pretty relaxed lifestyle and to me that's the whole point of trading right like we want the freedom that's that's the whole reason i got involved in trading to begin with to be able to have the financial freedom in order to gain the location freedom the time freedom etc i never wanted to be a slave to the charts you know i never wanted to be just sitting at a desk six hours a day four hours a day that's not the lifestyle for me i am more than happy to you know on a slow monday trading wise i'm more than happy to go run some errands do things in life that need to get done and you know there's a huge misconception about being a full-time trader i have the availability to be a full-time trader right like i i trade for a living um, i don't really have any other commitments that i have to attend to that would require a full-time schedule so i could be a full-time trader but why would i want to be a full-time trader like who wants that even if you're a trader who's you know spending a lot of time on the charts and you're making a killing like you're just raking in money from from day trading somehow even if that's you like what kind of life is that what are you gonna do with all that money you know like my eyes hurt when i'm glued to a computer screen for too long i don't like looking at screens i i do it for a living of course but I, I prefer to have as little screen time as possible so that i i can focus on more important things in life you know so yeah i have the availability to be a full-time trader but i am more than happy being a swing trader because i literally spend 15 to 30 minutes a day checking on potential opportunities or existing trades that i'm in and then the rest of my day it's up to me whatever i want to do i can do fun things i can you know take care of mundane tasks like i'm doing right now just running errands i can travel in a couple weeks i'm, I'm going to be traveling and swing trading is just so beautiful for stuff like that you know now on the topic of swing trading there seems to be a common misconception that you need to trade more in order to profit more you know in order to earn more income that's simply not the case most traders have an issue with capitalization so they're undercapitalized and so if you if you have enough capital to trade with you really only need one maybe two three trades a month and that can provide you with more income than the majority of the population earns. so there's really no correlation between trade frequency and profitability I always say that um, but it's so true like there's such a misconception about that and that's why new traders especially they end up getting stuck on lower time frames scalping the one minute the five minute you know feeling like they're on the verge of a heart attack and just losing hair because of stress and whatnot it's not a good life to live you know some people find solace on the low time frames but for the majority of people it's just too much noise, um, especially if you're a person who has a nine to five job. It's almost impossible to trade the lower time frames if you have a nine to five job. To me, swing trading is really the, the perfect solution, you know, especially with the abundance of prop firms we have to choose from. Undercapitalization shouldn't be an issue. Like if you have the skill, you should be able to find capital. There's no excuse anymore. Back when I started trading about six years ago, like prop firms were not popular. I didn't even know what that was when I first started trading. So my goal was always to build up personal capital. And that's what I've done. I've always traded personal accounts. Um, um, only recently I started diving into prop firms more. You know, undercapitalization, there's just no excuse for it anymore. Like we have an abundance of prop firms to choose from. So if you can obtain a decent amount of capital, you know, six figures in, in prop firm capital at least, then you don't need to be trading every day, you know, once a week maybe. And that allows you to focus on only the best trading opportunities. It means you don't have to be there day in and day out trying to convince yourself of what trade you, you should be taking and then beating yourself up if you didn't take it and end up and it ended up working when you're focused on higher time frames like the four hour time frame the daily time frame and your goal is to be a swing trader it just eliminates all the bullshit it allows you to focus on the best highest probability opportunities and yes they take a while to play out um, but i honestly wouldn't have it any other way because that allows more time for deep thought it allows more more time for proper decision making it's not like heat of the moment type stuff you have plenty of time to react plenty of time to plan so i wouldn't have it any other way your code has been authorized. Thank you for visiting. Finishing up at the car wash here. I want to show you guys my uh, MetaTrader. So still in that AUDJPY trade, as you can see. Nothing much has happened. I mean, we're not in drawdown anymore, so that's nice. But the swaps on this are so big. This is a 200K account. Um, pretty fresh. I just passed it recently, so not much activity there. I'm hoping to get my first payout soon, so we'll see what happens. But. Uh, yeah, not much else to say trading wise. So I'm honestly just gonna head home right now after I get out of the car wash here.
Well, everybody, I'm back home now in my office slash studio, and I'm in the mood to play some guitar, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm probably gonna do that until I have to pick up my son from school, and then I'll be hanging out with him, which I'm certainly not going to be filming. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, comment down below. Let me know if I should do more of these, because I have no idea. This is my first time doing something like this. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll talk soon. <laughs>